Thank you for viewing this presentation from the Tennessee Department of Revenue regarding franchise and excise tax exemptions. This presentation covers obligated member entities. The qualifications regarding this exemption can be found in Tennessee Code Annotated Section 67-4-2008. These involve entities that are LLCs, LPs, or LLPs. These do not include partnerships. All members or partners are fully liable for the debts and obligations and liabilities of their entities. Each entity must also file appropriate documentation with the Office of Secretary of State prior to the first day of the taxable year for which a return is filed. In some instances, a secondary level of limited liability entities can be formed between the initial limited liability entity and the individual owners to avoid the franchise and excise taxes while still providing limited liability to the individual owners or partners. Members or partners of a limited liability entity can make an election for the entity to be treated as an exempt obligated entity. If the limited liability is retained for a portion of the ownership membership, the tax is owed on the corresponding portion of the income. The members or partners that make the election must file the required documentation with the Secretary of State to become fully liable for the debts, obligations, and liabilities of their entity, and they are referred to as obligated members. Documentation does need to be filed to the Secretary of State's office on or before the first day of the taxable year for which a return is filed. Tennessee Code Annotated 67-4-2008 contains information regarding uh, due dates that were prior to October 1, 2009. For limited liability protection, if any obligated member or any owner of an obligated member, whether such ownership is in whole or in part, indirect or direct, provides limited liability protection, the obligated member entity is liable for franchise and excise taxes on the portion of income and equally attributable to such obligated member. In order to qualify for the exemption, you must register to obtain the exemption in advance. This is done on Form FAE-183, Application for Exemption or Annual Exemption Renewal, and all qualifications must be met in order to receive the exemption. In addition to the form, you must also attach required documentation that has been filed with the Tennessee Secretary of State's office. If the entity does not meet the exemption requirements in any given year, it is taxable on all activities for that year. This requires the electronic filing and payment of a franchise and excise tax return by the 15th day of the fourth month following the close of the taxable year. Both the initial application and the annual renewal form are filed on Form 183. Applicants should complete the proper section of the form and submit it by the 15th day of the fourth month following the close of your tax year. Entities requesting an extension for federal income tax are automatically granted an extension. Each taxpayer must certify annually to be eligible for the exemption on or before the first day of the taxable year for which a return is filed. The annual certification process for limited partnerships, limited liability partnerships, and LLCs are contained in this information presented here. Please note that each of these different, please note that each entity requires specific information in order to complete the annual certification. If your application or renewal for exemption is received late, a $200 penalty may be assessed. Any person who claims an exemption but fails to meet the qualifications shall be subject to all tax, penalty, and interest as applicable under the law. For more information regarding this topic, please see the Application for Exemption or Annual Exemption Renewal Form 183, as well as the Franchise and Excise Tax Return Form 170 and its instructions, and Tennessee Code Annotated Section 67-4-2008.
If you need additional help, please visit www.tn.gov forward slash revenue and click on taxes, then franchise and excise taxes. Send an email through the question section of our revenues website for specific questions you may have regarding your entity. You may also call us at 615-253-0700 from 8 to 4.30 Central Time each Monday through Friday, excluding holidays. Thank you for viewing this presentation from the Tennessee Department of Revenue.